Hi friends, last week we saw two back-to-back -back draw. First it was PNP specific draw and then followed by CC specific draw. And with that we also know how the CRS score distribution table looks like. So in today's video, we will try to look at this distribution table and predict what could be the future CRS cutoff score for no program specific draw. Now I know that for long, in fact from the start of this year, we have not seen this draw happening. But say if it happens next week, we will have some visibility on how the table looks like, how competitive it is and what could be the approximate CRS cutoff as we analyze we will get to know. So do watch this video till the end and uh, without wasting much time, let's look into this year's draw so far. We have seen 11 draws so far and total of 49 124 candidates have been invited. Now we also know that this year's plan for federal high skilled category on higher side is 110250 which means that we can still see 61126 candidate getting invited in this year. That is roughly say about 5000 ITA per draw then it will take about 12 to 13 draw in this year and we are left with 39 more week. I hope uh, it makes sense so far. Now you all know that how dynamic this year's draw has been with a surprise draw of February 13 which was CEC specific draw. So it looks like uh, CEC draw will continue to happen every fortnight provided 5000 applicants are in the pool or if that does not happen then you know it will get delayed till 5000 candidates the CEC specific candidates are in the pool. So I hope it makes sense uh, so far and once this 5000 candidates are there whoever is that uh, uh, last candidate that becomes the lowest CRS score. So it is very hard to predict how the competition is. It is more about demand and supply. Whoever is coming in whenever that 5000 candidate uh, pool is getting filled that is when the draw would happen. So uh, that is one. Now I will not go into PNP uh, specific draw because you know the ITA is very small and uh, again there are many factors related to provincial requirement uh, which makes the prediction very very difficult. Now coming to the no program draw. We have no visibility on when that would happen and looks like the wait could be even much longer. But say if it happens uh, this week or next week we can see that as on March 29, 2021, this is how the CRS code distribution looks like. Between 481 to 1200 range, 4778 candidate. And if we extend this range further to 471 to 1200, then there are total of 11,094 candidate. Now we know that approximate 5000 ITA get issued. And last week draw saw 5000 ITA against total of this 49,397 candidate. These many candidate were there in the pool and the 5000 ITA was given to the CZ specific candidate. As I said we don't know how the distribution looks like but knowing that this range 471 to 1200 has 11,094 candidate. My guess is that if no program draw happens anytime soon, the score would be upward of 475 plus. That is my guess and uh, do let me know and comment. If the score is below 475, then it will get competitive and then you know the CRS cutoff score would come into play. So this is what I am able to bring to you as of now and I hope it makes sense. If it doesn't, do comment. If you think it is aligned to you know your thought process do comment and that is how you know we will be able to predict the score better thanks for watching canada tried and tested